As Nefertima's group continue their tour of the city, they realize the condition of the city is very bad. On the other hand, despite receiving aid and funds, the lord of the area is not supplying the citizens with aid. After a while, Nefertima stops a bunch of kids bullying a puppy. Nefertima immediately scolds them for their actions. But one of those kids tries to justify their actions. He implies that his dad said that all dogs are their enemies. Nefertima then advises them not to attack someone who is defenseless. Then, Nefertima saves the puppy. After that, Nefertima takes the puppy to Ralph so that he can heal the puppy. The puppy immediately becomes very attached to Nefertima. After that, Shinki informs her that the puppy is a kobold pup. Thus, Nefertima decides to return the little guy to his mother. Despite initial hesitation, Vilhelt also agrees to go and return him to his mother. Well, Nefertima believes that, since they have Lars, a holy beast with them, the kobolds won't attack them. Meanwhile, Hilran decides to investigate the city to learn more about the Lord's wrongdoings. After a while, Nefertima and others enter the forest. On their way to the kobolds' hideout, Nefertima encounters a slime. Needless to say, Nefertima immediately becomes excited. Shinki then informs Nefertima that the slime is asking for help. Well, that slime wants Nefertima to help its comrade. That slime then takes them to see a parent slime, which was in trouble. By the way, the parent slime produces small slimes. <laughs> Vilhelt suggests the slime should inhabit someone. In this way, they will be able to help the parent slime. As a result, it will be able to reproduce safely later on. Nefertima then decides to inhabit the slime in her body. After that, Nefertima names the slime Shizuku. <laughs> Shizuku then inhabits Nefertima. She also names the other slime, Haku. They decide to take Haku with them. As they continue their journey, they realize that something is not right. Well, they were going around in circles. Nefertima then tells everyone to follow Lars. It turns out the guardian of the forest was preventing them from entering inside the forest to keep the animals and monsters safe. Thus, Nefertima meets the guardian of the forest, which is a giant tree. Nefertima then greets the guardian. Nefertima requests the guardian to tell the location where all kobolds are staying but the Guardian refuses to disclose that information. Well, humans are eliminating kobolds restlessly. Thus, the Guardian hid the kobolds from the humans. Nefertima then reveals that she is thinking about having them move to a different location to keep them safe. Thus, the Guardian decides to show her the way to their hideout, but he also gives her a warning. Well, if the Guardian finds out she is lying, she will not be able to leave the forest alive. On the way, they encounter a bug monster called Mamushi. Apparently, Mamushi's meat is very delicious. Thus, Nefertima tells Lars and the Knights to hunt Mamushi. Well, Nefertima wants to give the meat to the kobolds as a gift. After walking for a while, Nefertima's group finally encounters a bunch of kobolds. 